Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today. It's the 10th of June, 2024. We hope you had a good weekend. And obviously, we need to give you the rundown on what's happening in markets today. So we saw a flattish session in the US on Friday. Small losses across the three major indices. After the non-farm payrolls number came in a lot stronger than expected, the issue markets took with this is it's further decreased the likelihood of early rate cuts from the Fed. The Russell 2000 underperformed, as is often the case, a small cap index often suffers on such news. US futures near neutral in Asian trading. Asian equity markets mixed. The ASX has closed because of a public holiday. And European futures are pointing to a cautious open, slightly to the downside at this stage. The US dollar index had a good session on the back of that non-farm payrolls report, bouncing off the 200 EMA. And subsequently, of course, commodities slipped. We saw gold drop on that USD strength, tested 2300 and precariously balanced underneath it. That's a really important psychological level. Copper also fell to nearly two months lows. Always the exception to the commodity sell-off, holding over $75 on that late week recovery. Bitcoin also paused around 70000 And in terms of data, it's a really quiet day today. It's, a, it's like the calm before the storm. We did have Japanese GDP released around expectations, but Wednesday is massive. The CPI data out of the US, China and Germany, and of course the US rate decision subsequent to that two-day Fed meeting. Charts for today to have a look at. Australian Canadian dollar looks interesting on the 30 minute chart. You can see that big drop off uh, in a Friday session. We found this range here that kicked off in the latter half of the US session with a support at 9047 and resistance at 9061. We can see a breach of that at the moment. The pivot level is actually at 9076, but we could actually see this breaking through that and potentially challenging that previous swing low. At around about 9083. Through the chart we're going to have a look at today with the ASX closed it is USO USD. It's a WTI food contract. And you can see there on the four hourly chart that we've hit a little bit of a pause, almost bang smack on $76. We think there's possibly almost $2 move up in this. There may be a pause around 77 But at this stage, it'd be worthwhile being patient until we have breached that 9602 level. To continue this up move we've been in since the back end of Friday. So that's one to keep an eye on. Also, probably trading it on the shorter time frame with just a little bit more patience at 76.27 on the 30-minute chart. Looks like a high probability entry. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.